Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bay Brigade. <laughs> take, I don't remember which take this is. Anyway, uh, I didn't like the last video, so here we go again. Uh, <laughs> in case y'all are new, and I'm so grateful for my new subscribers. Um, this is a, um, a Granny Square Shrug that I made myself last month out of Ogo Halo yarn. Um, you can get this at Joann's. It is actually, I saw it, um, I saw it, uh, on sale as of today for $6.99 at Joann's. And it's very, 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 I'll hold this up so y'all can see. Very, very fluffy. <laughs> I've been kind of wanting to get my hands on some more of this stuff. It, they have it in other colors. This is, this is made up of uh, about uh, three different colors. The back of it, the, there's a big part of the back that's in the vanilla frost color. Because this is the beach, this is the, the sand color. Because I wanted it to be a beach, a beachy, a beachy color. A beachy uh, type uh, square. And so it's done in like beach colors. Because that's kind of the theme of me. <laughs> That's what makes me happy is beachy things, things. So, um, anyway, uh, if you look back on last month, uh, my vlog, uh, playlist, you will see, uh, the progression of me making this. And, uh, because I kind of called it the project until I knew exactly what I was going to do with it. But then I seamed up the sides and made armholes. And, um, and so it's, it's a fantastic shrug. <laughs> it's very cozy. And, um, if you get, if, if you have any of this yarn in, 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 uh, in stash and on hand, I highly recommend making one of these because it's very cozy, uh, because fall has arrived here in Louisiana and I didn't want to deal with my hair again. So here goes the hat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're having crock pot chili, uh, very semi homemade, meaning that we used uh, chili ready beans and chili ready tomatoes out of the can, along with some um, ground turkey and some um, McCormick um, chili mix, which was 30% less sodium because I, I have to have less sodium due to my uh, lymphedema in my legs. I have to be cautious of how much salt I intake or else I end up, I, I swell up, uh, my legs swell up more. If you're not sure what lymphedema is, um, excuse me, I an itch right there. Uh, lymphedema is uh, a condition that I ended up with after having uh, cancer surgery in 2012. I had to have a full hysterectomy due to uterine cancer. Luckily, the, ca the, the surgery got it all and I was good, but it left me with damaged lymph nodes. The lymph nodes in my lower extremities that circulate the fluid in my body. Um, and so those lymph nodes were damaged. And then, uh, shortly after, um, my surgery, I took a spill, I took a fall in a grocery store. I know, silly, right? But there was a, there was a wet floor and I took a fall and I, I somehow jarred those, those lymph nodes and set off the lymphedema. Okay. And so what the lymphedema do, does is it, retain, it, it because those, ly those lymph nodes that circulate the fluid are no longer working properly, it causes fluid to uh, collect on those extremities, meaning my legs, especially my left leg. And so um, that's why my legs look, uh, just imagine the, the Michelin man legs, that's, that's what I live with. Now they do have... Um, things that I use to treat my legs. They have pumps, uh, these, these, uh, things, these big sleeve things that I can put on my legs that, uh, push air and, and make my legs go down. There's compression garments, a whole host of things. Uh, me, mine have kind of gotten to, it, uh, a stationary, they don't get 
they don't go up and down too much because I, I control how much salt I have and I take fluid pills and occasionally, but I, I try to control how much salt I have. So as long as I control my salt intake and, um, don't get on my legs too much, I try to try to limit how much, uh, standing I do, how much walking I do. As long as I, I, I watch those things, then my legs don't tend to balloon out too much and it's painful. Uh, so that's lymphedema. So I'm, I'm not, this is, this is a, there's a whole, um, community that surfaces with lymphedema. Uh, Wendy, um, there's a, there's a talk show host named Wendy. She has lymphedema. Uh, Kathy Bates, the actress, she has lymphedema in her arms. And she has to wear compression garments on her arms. She's a big lymphedema spokesperson. She She's re really into the, you know, speaking out and, and uh, you know, being outspoken about it. And uh, so it's... it's it's, it's a heck of a thing because there's no cure for lymphedema. You're just pretty much stuck with it. All you could do is treat it. And um, so I don't just have that. I have um, osteoarthritis uh, in my spine and bone spurs in my lower spine. And so, um, and then I had some ligaments that, um, and tendonitis in my left foot. So that caused me quite a bit of pain. So basically, I'm just crippled, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, I don't let that dampen my spirit. Um, I know there's lots of people that have it a lot worse than me. Um, I still have all my fingers um, and my toes. And um, the good Lord has my back. And um, I do the best I can with what I got. <laughs> And, uh, I love the Lord and I love my fellow man and, um, I love crochet and I love my doggies, Theodore and Axel. That's my big brigade. Um, I love my sons. William is my oldest and he's 30. Johnny is my youngest and he's 23. He's my high functioning autistic son and he's my right hand man. <laughs> And, uh, that, that's, you know, I, I don't, I, I can't say enough wonderful things about my kids. <laughs> they both still live with me. Um, Johnny will probably always be with me and will eventually will get on his own. Um, I'm not in any hurry for either one, it, it, for that to happen. But right now I'm working on this, um, this card again for my lovely mother. Hi, mom. <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> She watches all my videos, y'all. So if you hear me say something to mom, it's because she watches. But uh, I'm working on this card again for mom. And so I'm almost done with the first half of it. This is a uh, hexagon cardigan. I uh, come across this tutorial uh, while watching uh, Lisa with uh, Happy to Hook Creations. Um, I just love her to pieces. She's so fun. And... Um, she was doing it. She did one with the uh, yarn, Mr. Yarn Challenge, I think it's, it's called, that, that, that she did through um, Armchair Chef, I think, something like that. But she did um, a hexagon cardigan uh, with some chunky yarn. And this is number five weight yarn. This is Line Brand uh, Boogie Nights yarn. And um, But this is uh, where I'm at so far. Um, but, uh, yeah, and this is where I've got so far. I've got one more skein of, um, of this, this burgundy color, which is called, uh, sorry, I got it right down here. Joker. <laughs> I couldn't think of that to save my life. This burgundy co color is called Joker. Look at that sparkle. Oh my goodness. But mama mama saw this when she was over here. The, I think it was last week or week before. And uh, she she really liked it a lot. And uh, so I said, hmm, okay. 
because I was I was going to do this cardigan for my oldest son's then girlfriend, but she know she has since not the girlfriend anymore. So guess what? <laughs> it's going to be Granny's cardigan now. <laughs> but that's okay. We do what to do. <laughs> but it's coming along swimmingly, as you can see. It's really coming along. But I got one more skein that will do exactly one row. It won't do two rows. It'll be like one and a half row. And so I don't like, I don't like uneven things. I like even numbers, even things. So I will have to go just around one time with that, with that last skein of the, of, because I, I had 12 skeins of this yarn, six skeins of the Joker and six skeins of the Bliss. Joker being the burgundy and uh, Blitz being the cream color. And so I was like, well, okay, I'm going to use three of the burgundy and three of the cream for one side. And, you know, and so uh, I got one more burgundy for this side and it'll make exactly one round. It won't make two rounds. Uh, I'd have to dip into the yarn for the other side and I don't want to do that. So, um, and I don't have any more of it after that. So, this is what we got. <laughs> and, uh, and I just noticed an end that I thought I'd tucked in. Well, I think I'll tuck that in when I get back in the living room. It stuck up on me. It's dark. It's a dark color. I, it, I, I, thought, I thought I tucked it in, but I guess not. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, sorry, I'm trying to get it back in the, in the project bag I got it going in. There we go. But that's about all I got for y'all today. I'm going to go close this out and go get me some chili. <laughs> if y'all want to make that chili, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. You just get yourself a crock pot. You get your ground turkey and you put the ground turkey raw in the bottom of the pot. You put your seasoning on top of that. Mix the seasoning up good with the with the meat. And then uh, turn, turn the crock pot on full, you know, as high as it'll go. And then you dump your, your, your chili ready beans and your chili ready tomatoes in equal parts. I restart with three cans of each. And then we... Put both, you know, put all all six cans of that in. We see where we are. Do we have enough? And usually that's not enough. We usually add two more cans of each, and usually we start with five cans of each uh, chili ready beans and chili ready tomatoes, and then we let that cook. Tonight we let it cook for about two and a half hours on high, and uh, you know that's about all it needs really. And uh, usually I make cornbread to go with it. But I don't know where my cornbread pan is. <laughs> so I'll be having little cheese it crackers to go with mine. I don't think that we have any hot sauce. I'll have to look. I like a little hot sauce in mine. Um, I am from Louisiana after all. <laughs> a little Louisiana hot sauce in your chili. It's good. Got to get a little kick going. But uh, that's about all I got for tonight's vlog. Uh, oh, they did have to come and replace our toilet today it uh the tank in the back had a little hairline fracture had a little hairline crack that was dripping every now and then and apparently you can't replace just the tank to that old uh toilet so they my landlord ordered a whole new toilet and then uh his little work work person come and i never seen somebody so efficient in my life he had that, he had the old toilet out and the new toilet in within an hour. And he's a little skinny dude. <laughs> so efficient. So efficient. Just expertly done. Expertly done. I was very impressed with him. Very impressed. And coming back tomorrow to fix the bathroom sink. So, I'll be glad for that to finally work after three months of living here. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Nobody died. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I hope it doesn't take me three tries to upload this video like yesterday. And um, y'all take care. And um, God bless you. Remember to adopt, don't shop. Your best friend's waiting for you at the shelter. And I will see you tomorrow.